Hello everyone and welcome back to a new video in our Autodesk Robot Structure Analysis series. And in this video, we're going to be starting a new series, which is basically going to be the modeling and design of reinforced concrete structures. Now, with that being said, it's going to be an odd video because this video is part of a robot series, although a robot will not be open in this video. So why is it the case? Let's find out. So sit back, relax and enjoy the show. Okay, well, the reason why I don't have robots open in front of me is because, well, you cannot model anything without understanding the structure that you are trying to model. Now, I have got access to this architectural drawing from the internet, and I will link the link I have taken this file in the description. So what do we have here? Well, to understand architectural drawings, I know that most of you might be really interested into diving headfirst into the plans to understand them, uh, I have a different approach in understanding the architectural drawings. Now, of course, if you have a Revit model, and I might be including Revit in the very far away distant future, if you have a Revit model, architectural model, then things become easy because a Revit model is easier to be orbited, you can see it in 3D, and everything seems to be fine. But I'm assuming that not everyone has access to Revit or 3D architectural modeling like SketchUp, so I'm gonna go back and revert, to, revert back to my good old days in understanding 2D drawings. And this needs you to understand basics of engineering drawing. Now, uh, I like to understand the drawing by immediately accessing something called the elevation side views on plan views, especially the elevation and side view. So from the first view here, it seems I have a multi-story building and a sub-building beside it connected by a bridge. I have intuitions about how to design and model the bridge. My first intuition is to break the high-rise structure apart from the bridge, like make a structural joint here, because, I mean, uh, the vibration, and if, if this is an earthquake-prone region, then the vibration of a taller building is different than the vibration of a shorter building. So I think I would have a structural joint here. Here, I might not need a structural joint, but, I mean, why not? So from the get-go, I can immediately plan a structural joint here and a structural joint here. It seems, this is, it seems that this is a sub-building, so I'm really interested in understanding what that thing is. Now, this is the side view, it seems. And by the way, I don't know exactly the language of this. It seems that this is Spanish or Portuguese. Elevacion or something. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not really good with this language. I speak German, Turkish, Arabic, and English. So, uh, okay. Uh, it seems that from the side here, I have another building. So, like, architectural stuff. I don't think this is structural. In nature, I have to check that out. And this seems to be an architectural thing for the side building. It seems it's a side building. The bridge is not visible here. It seems you're looking from that side here. This is the back side, it seems. Yeah, I think that's this. This is the opposite of this side. Like, this is the front side, and this is the back side, and that's the other side. And this is basically this side structure, which is this. Like, I think that this elevation is basically if you stand and look to the right here. So if you, are standing, if you are standing near the tree and look to the right, I think this is what you see. That's my first guess. So, of course, I'm not really sure about this. I need to dive deeper into it. But those are my first impressions. Okay, to the section. He's taking two sections. Of course, the sections will be shown in the drawing of the architecture. Of course, he must take a section in the staircase, which he does here. And a section here, which he does here, because there is a staircase for the secondary building and a staircase for the main building. And from the get-go, I can see two basements. Oh, this is going to be a spicy building, by the way. Uh, basement 1, basement 2, which means I need basement walls. And I can see the slab being on the ground floor, so it's going to be a full basement wall, full-fledged basement wall here. I don't know, I might even need a raft foundation here. Here, I think I'm going to use spread footings here because the weight is not that much. I think I'm going to use spread footings here. This is going to be a spread footing, but only from one side, because the other side there is a building. So this is like an L-shaped foundation. That's my plan. I hope I remember all of this. Here I would have a spread footing, and here I think this structure, I don't think this is heavy enough to warrant a raft foundation. So I think I will spread footing all the stuff here, and I will raft foundation tower, basically. That's my plan for the foundation. Okay, so what do we have here? 
This seems to be what, what? Sutano 1, 2, Nivel. I think this means like, uh, Nivel means level. I don't know. Okay, let's check. Where is this Nivel thing? So in the section, there we go. Sotano. It seems it means like basement. Like this is Sotano 1 and 2. So basically this is the basement level. Now the problem is where is the north here? So where is the north? There is no north. But at least, okay, at least I have a ramp here. So I need to keep this tab. There is a ramp. And this seems to be rotated. Yeah, see? This is the real one. This is rotated. It should be rotated 90 degrees like this. Should be rotated 90 degrees immediately. Type on the keyboard, rotate, and just rotate this a little bit. This is the correct orientation of the Sutano level, uh, which coincides with this because the ramp. Look, I mean, if you want to align architectural drawings, you align them by the staircase and the lifts and the ramps. Because staircases, lifts, and ramps don't change location from one story to the other. Okay, so this seems to be the basement one and two. Okay, that makes sense. So this is basically this, which means that this is level, okay, planta first nivel. Seems he's talking about the ground floor, right? But let me take a look. What's this? Those are trees. So yeah, I think he's talking about the level one. Oh, and it seems that the culture here talks about the ground floor to be level one. Depends on the culture, because some people call this actually level one, not ground floor. It depends on the culture. This might cause me some headache. So I think he's talking about this because there are trees here. Now, the, up, the one above it should not have trees. The one above it should have... Oh, wait. This means that the side building has this? Strange egg shape? Really? I didn't detect an egg shape. Hmm. Is this an egg shape? Oh, yeah. Okay. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, there is an egg shape. Look, how do, you, how do you detect a curvature? If the architecture is a pro and draws accurately, you can detect the curvature by looking at the windows. Look at this window and look at this window. This seems to be more stretched than this. I mean, when something goes into the curve, it becomes compressed on the side. So this gets stretched. And even this gets more, this is stretched. This is compressed. This is more compressed. Yeah, that's a circular or elliptical building. Yeah, okay, that's that. So this is going to be a challenge for our structures. Uh, how, can, how, how am I going to design that? I need to think about this in robot, but I think it's a good way to make frames here. This might be a frame or a drop beam. This will be all beams, I guess. Think about the reinforcement. Now, I'm thinking loud now, and you will hear this a lot. You will hear me thinking a lot. Yeah, see? Ah, there we go. Junta. Haha, look at this. Junta de construcción. That's nice. Yeah, see, my, my, my intuition of having construction joint was... And mind you, this is the first time I look at the drawings. Like I'm, tr I'm intentionally keeping myself in the dark. Junta de construcción here. Junta de construcción. He doesn't tell you if there's a construction joint. But my guess is I will just make a like, linear construction joint and keep this like a cantilever and just design it. I will think about the best practical way of doing this. I'm not really sure about that. Okay, so we have an elliptical shape, we have the ground floor here, perfect. Now the next floor we have what? We have biblioteca, library-like. I have no idea what this is. Uh, Administración, okay, fine. Escalara. Wait, does it have an escalator? No, I mean, maybe they call it escalara for staircase. I know some of my viewers now are face palming because it's in their native language. I'm sorry, I really don't know exactly. Okay, so, all right. So we are now above, we are now above the bridge level. So you don't see a bridge. You see the, you see the roof of the bridge. Okay. What level is this? This is level three. So let's take a look. This is level one. I mean, level one, level two, level three. Yeah, that's the last level. Level four should not be existing because level four is just a architectural level. Yeah, see, it doesn't exist in level four. See, from level four to 12, it's just a typical, it's just a typical floor. Which brings a question, which raises a question. Is it really a big structure? Like, let me just take a look. So four meters, 28 meters. I mean, yeah, 28 meters, but you are losing eight meters for... That's a small... That's a strange structure. Vast major... Why do we need... Why do you need a ramp in the upper floors? I don't get it. I mean, I don't get this. But I don't get the idea of having a ramp up to the 12th floor. This is the Sotano. This is the basement level. And of course I need a ramp. Of course. Because I need to access... Wait. 
ramp is too small. Like if I am a car and I want to go park, how do I know that the ramp is clear? Like I, I might drive down and I might be faced, how large is this? Like imagine I'm a car and I want to drive out, right? So I have to, okay, this needs to be clear because I need to go up. So I would have to drive to the right, move up, and I might be faced with somebody coming down, right? So there's only one ramp. I mean, I can dig this, I guess. Yeah, that's the ground floor. So people come here and go down. And that's, that makes perfect sense. So they go down like this. Wait, what? What level is this? This is level one, right? So we are here. Okay, where is the entrance to the car? Let me just check. So the car is getting from, from this side. Okay, this is elevation two, right? So he's saying elevation two should be able to see this. So where is elevation two? This is elevation one. This is elevation two. Okay, where's the car access? Okay, this is the escalada here. It should be this. Yeah, see, this makes sense now. Uh, you are supposed to go this way up. And now this makes sense. Of course, you're going to go down two times because you have uh, basement on basement two. Okay, we got the ramp. Okay, this makes sense now. Now this makes sense. What about this? You are now in level two. So you are at the level of the bridge. What's the point here? What's the idea? I think somebody messed up here. Okay, so let's check again. This is elevation two, right? And this is elevation four. Now, in elevation four, I will not be able to see the ramp. But in elevation two, I should be able to see the ramp. So, and this is what you deal with, ladies and gentlemen. Like when you are a design firm, you will be faced with those strange things and you would have to sit down with your architect and talk to him and reach conclusions about that. So, okay. This is elevation two, apparently. And the entrance to the ramp is not visible here. Find out the distance from here to here. If it's eight meter, then that's my ramp. Yeah, three meters, see? Like, what's that supposed to be? Is this a joke? Okay, so far it doesn't make sense. So what I'm going to do is basically I'm going to copy this. All right. I'm going to copy that. Copy on the side because I want to see something here. So I just copy that on the side. And then I will take E2. Copy that thing. And to the side. Okay. Now, this should be here. To see it, wait, how do I see the building? Oh, I think I know. I think I get the idea. I think I know what happened. Okay, and follow me. Let's take this first of all. I think I know what happened with the architecture. Let's just escape here. Select this. Uh, click rotate. And just rotate 90 degrees. If my intuition is correct, and I think I am, then, wait, why do I have multiple copies here? I don't care. Line, enter. Let me grab. See, we're trying to understand what he's doing here. So let's grab a line. Draw it down. Okay. And now let's take this. And let's just take the edge of the building here. And place it on the line. If my calculations are correct, then... Ah, there we go. Perfect. You see, he forgot to draw. Ah, it makes sense. See, from here to here, look at this. Look at my cursor at the, at the vertical line. Now from here, this is the edge of the building. Let me move the scanner line here. Okay, and so far we are going good. This place, you see those, those windows? Those are the windows of the rooms here, of those, uh, of those toilets. So we have, the we have the room here. Yeah, okay, we have, the, we have the windows of the toilets here, which are small windows and they're higher than normal. And then I have my staircase, right? So this is the staircase, perfect. This is the staircase. And it has glass because people can look outside. Okay, that's the staircase. Now, where is my car ramp? It doesn't exist. It doesn't exist, which means that in the higher levels, you don't see the car ramp. There is no car ramp. This doesn't exist. This is non-existent. You don't have a car ramp. Oh, now I get it. Now I get what he's doing. Not really the best of options. Okay, I think I know what's happening here. First of all, you don't see a car ramp because it goes below the ground. Like if you picture from the side, you don't see the car ramp. The car ramp, if you have Superman eyes and you see X-ray, you would see the car ramp going down here, ramping down from here to here. And of course, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a spherical way, like they go around, like you have, like it just cycles around here. You don't see it because it goes from the ground floor down. 
I expected to see it because I saw him drawing the car ramp in the higher levels. So I was like thinking, what's happening here? No, he's not drawing the car ramp on the higher levels. This location is at elevation zero, and this location is at elevation 10 or something. You see? Like, uh, he should have written, to avoid the confusion, he should have copied this, and he should have placed it here and changed the elevation so that it makes sense. So uh, it was strange for me. Okay, now it makes sense. So, uh, yeah, I think now we have understood the building. I just needed to do some mental gymnastics here. Like underground, which is, it seems to be larger than the building. Seems to be larger than the building. Look at this. Let me just copy this and paste it here. Just approximately. Yeah, see, the, under, the basement is larger than the building, so there is an extension underground. Like uh, underground, it's longer. So there is a slab that has soil on top of it. So we have a basement, we have a ground floor, we have a structural joint. I think this is a very good project to start with. So I think I have gathered enough information to understand what's happening here. I have an idea of how to make my structural system. I might be doing a frame here because the spans are large. I might do here like just beam, slab on beam or something. But this is of course for the next time. Ah yeah, you can see this here, what's this? This seems to be the higher floors, right? Yeah, this seems to be the higher floors and those columns seem to end. Those are the columns of the basement. They seem to end because the basement ex is extending beyond. I'm not really sure, the only way I can be sure is to, to, to understand those things is to draw them. Yeah, see the building gets smaller here. Is to draw them in robots, like the building here. It's not visible here, but it gets smaller. Yeah, there we go, here. It gets smaller. It was edged, and now we have this circular thing. And that's the reason why you see this circular thing. So I think we have gathered enough information to understand the building. So yeah, that's my first session for you. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Of course, it might be a strange video because there is no robot involved, but well, first step to understand the structure is to understand the drawings of that structure and it seems there were some curveballs in the drawings but we have managed them i think successfully of course if you have any ideas just drop them in the comments down below and be more than happy with that being said before i finish i want to give a reinforced concrete high-rise building sized shout out to our dear, dear channel members whose names are going to be shown on the screen i want to thank them from the bottom of my heart as their contribution to the channel via memberships is priceless to me with that being said, I hope that you enjoyed the video and that it was beneficial for you. Of course, if you have enjoyed the video, then please like, share, comment and subscribe, especially subscribing, because it helps increase the reach of my channel. And thank you very much for reaching 2K. As per usual, this is the Civil Engineering Essentials channel, and we'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.